Coming to you live and uncensored. This is the Hype Podcast. I'm Oso oh Fresh with my co host, yet to be named. That's me. We talk about everything from new gadgets, gizmos, politics, movies, and music. And our very own personal stories, because you know a motherfucker has to keep it real. Wikipedia is made up, dude. That, somebody fucking made that shit up. Just, just like science and just like fucking religion, okay? Okay, thanks. Okay, Wikipedia okay, thanks, is bye. made up, but okay, thanks, don't we bye. have to come to some collective truth? I mean, is that a fact? Were you there? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I could go edit. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Were you there? <laughs> Were you I, there? Even I could go edit Wikipedia. They fact no, that that's shit. What change it, I mean, that's what I'm saying. I mean, when you say even I, it really makes me bring down the quality of Wikipedia. <laughs> you say, <laughs> yeah, <dog>. yeah, <laughs> this motherfucker said even I. <laughs> 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 Like there's some terrorists I'll let do before you. Even I, yeah, even I, yeah, let, they let fucking Donald Trump edit, edit Wikipedia before your ass. That's a problem. Why would you let that man have any say so? Hey, you should probably turn the fan off so I can hear your say so more. Dude, we really don't want to hear his say so though, do we? I'm cool with that. I, I can go back to sleep. <laughs> Coming off of like a 24 or 26 hour day I mean I know you've been running hard And running long Pause but Running um, long and his money long Oh wait no it's not Fuck up. I'm just in a fucking rhymey mood What can I say yeah. he, wrote, he wrote he 16 bars Was it 16? I don't even know I still can't count bars you Is that for, weird? Okay so whatever word you use to rhyme on That's your bar Okay so whenever you do that shit, count that from now on. So ba- basically, like know, sixteen I know, rhymes. I, I don't rap like that. Yeah, 16. <laughs> oh, I don't. Ra- I don't rap like that. I don't rap at all. So well, no, it, sixteen it, sentences. Well, you can't say sentences because some bars could be like you. They have the bars don't change in the song, but the amount of words you say between each bar can. I don't see. I, I okay, don't. now you're bringing in math and fucking reading and oh, shit, and I, I, I didn't even graduate middle school. Go with watch that the good defiant ones and then come back to me. We'll, we can pick this up then. <laughs> uh, okay. Can you do that Price is Right thing? Because <laughs> <laughs> you really said that like you burned somebody. Yeah. <laughs> no, like I'm for real. Like, I mean, go get an HBO subscription. You yeah, know, yeah, that yeah. is the only way this man. Why don't you get that, Netflix, motherfucker? That is the only way this man could have learned how to count bars in his whole fucking life is if he watched his HBO show. Is that where you learn? <laughs> no, no, I learned in high school. Uh, okay. No, I could always well, go get no, that Rosetta school. Stone rap app. Have you guys? seen that is there actually there's a fucking rosetta stone rap app it's beautiful that'd be awesome that yeah, is that awesome. pretty awesome i mean old school he's just sit around with a rhyme dictionary yeah <laughs> yeah like an adult yeah like that, that shit was horrible yeah it is really horrible yeah. Spe- speaking of horrible let's just go ahead and kick this motherfucker off this is the hype podcast i am the host with no name i'm dj oh so fresh and i'm swiss michael and we have a great show you for you today ladies and gentlemen what are we talking about also we're talking about you we're gonna talk it's, about it's me. A, I mean, this might be an intervention. Hey, this no. is, this is a reason to listen to the well, show. No, no what, what, to the, begin with, the first thing we have is a Swizz Michaels relationship update. That's coming up. Give some applause for that. Yeah, so we get Swizz Michaels. Also on the show today, we are going to talk about the 1967 Detroit riots, also known as the 12th Street riots. Why? Why is that? Why are we doing this now? Is it because of the comments Draymond Green made? No, you're, it's because you just read that simply off the page, off the Wikipedia. I did. That you can't even prove it's correct. I don't no. need to prove it's correct. No, I think we. I think we want to have a bigger conversation about, for me, about rioting in general. And I saw the movie Detroit, and it totally changed my perspective on why you riot. And what and, and the benefit of rioting, and it doesn't seem direct. And yes, it will flip white people out. They're like, that makes it makes no <laughs> sense. You're burning down your whole goddamn neighborhood. But there's definitely there's when I give you the insight and make some comparisons, you'll really, I think you'll have some questions on it. I think you'll actually have some feedback, and we might let Swizz Michaels talk. <laughs> so stay tuned for that. We are going to get into uh, Oso's version of Riots here pretty soon. We also got Johnny C on the line this week on the Hype Podcast, and we're going to tell you about the next upcoming Hype Podcast rap battle, because I'm feeling frisky. You know, GQ hit me up about the rap battle. Did you text him directly? I did. Oh. I, 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 put, see, that I, was all happy. I, I put that on his fucking Instagram. I was like, hey, bitch, 
Hey, bitch. I was all happy. Hype ha- podcast, rap battle. No, I was all happy. I thought you actually listened to the show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even want to ask so you could let me down. <laughs> you know? Then you shouldn't have asked. I, I should have just been like, yeah, he just listened to the show. Yeah, yeah. no, you should have just been like, yo, GQ fucking hit me up about the rap battle. And I've been like, oh, yeah, I texted him after that. Yeah, I was just over there when I, when I, because I made tacos today. Just so you know, I made tacos for the whole crew. It is, he it, did. It, it he is did. a grand accomplishment. If you see me, no, I don't make tacos for everybody, but I made tacos for my crew. First time I ever made tacos, to be honest with you. I, I love the look on your face, too, when you were like, hey, hey, made that for you. Made that for, for my hey, crew. You, you had this look upon your face like, man, I've spent 42 years of my life with all these doors closed around me, and now that I've made tacos, fucking sky's the limit. Hell yeah. Yeah, it's muchas gracias on. <laughs> it, it gets no higher from here. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, listen, I think we need to have an intervention with you if that's the fucking if that's the bar okay. you're setting for your life right there. What's the last time you cooked something for the people in your podcast? <laughs> that's a great question. The real question is I, I, when's I, I, the la- when's the last time I, I mean, brought some uh, uh, toke of the smokables for people on my hype podcast and they didn't fucking smoke any? Yeah, uh, well, I had shit to do, and I got shit to do all the time. I got shit to do today, and I'm drinking this fucking gift. That was brought upon by Junior so he could fucking bustle some cigarettes from your bitch ass. So shout out to my cousin Junior. I have to tell you, this is the show is starting later than it would have because all of a sudden, I hear a noise in my house. Because <laughs> we do the podcast at one end of the house. So like we're kind of isolated. From the hottest end of the, the fucking house. The hottest end of the fucking house. That's why we give you the hottest product. Because we the fire. hottest, <laughs> hypest podcast you can ever have. Believe you, the hype, bitch. And thank you if you made it this far into the show. <laughs> But I, I hear this hustle and bustle down my hallway, and then all of a sudden I look back, and it's my cousin, and he has two beers. He knows there's three of us. <laughs> he has two beers. He recently discovered the show last week, oh, God. and he thinks the show is pretty awesome. Like he really is. Like, so wait, wait. So he's he's been related to you all his life, and he's lived next door for how long? I'd say a year and a couple months, and he's just now discovering. I, man, I guess I got to step up my promo game. <laughs> I, you know, I, I will say this because you told me to start listening to podcasts for about two years before I actually did. So he's doing way better than me. Yeah, he you no, know, he just happened to be at my sister's house and she put it on. Oh, so it wasn't even his idea. Kind of like GQ messaging you about the ripe, the the ripe, he, the hype podcast. He's all, he's all about it. I mean, but you know, I, I have to say, if you're a listener, hey, fuck you, because our numbers are up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Thousand downloads last week and we're on the incline. God like this, damn right we I is. Mean, you're gonna have to look around and find out who's not listening to us. That's true. And I hate to brag and put my nut sacks on top of the microphone, <laughs> but sometimes it is necessary. So my cousin Junior comes in here and he's like, Yeah, I got beers for you. Cool. And I'm like, Cool, all right, thank you. Yeah. And thank, he goes, thanks for coming by. Yeah. And he's like, Hey, have you got a couple cigarettes? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, it's like that. And he's like, I thought, I thought you was my a couple of cigarettes. You know, that's a fair swap. I thought we were being, yeah, I thought we were being blessed by the fucking God. Was, was he wearing his, uh, his, uh, stay humble, hustle hard t shirt? No, <laughs> is was, that what it was? No, no, he was, he, he, he was just rocking his regular Nike. Oh, Jesus. No, there was nothing exciting about his gear. Is, is he, is, now, is he typically that guy? Is he the guy that, like, there's a caveat to everything he does for you? Like for example, no, 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 because he cooks. He cooks and he cooks. He cooks nothing that's good for you, but everything that tastes great. Well, he made us breakfast just this last week. I think he was buttering you up for the the, the cigarette commandeering. Wait, weeks in advance. Two weeks well, in we, advance. We have two smokers that live next door. You know, there's gonna because if you live in Washington, the cigarettes in Oregon are a lot cheaper. Right, and we do not like to go across the bridge. <laughs> and if you come home and you have set of my cigarettes sometimes you'll say fuck it the guy next door will be home you know all, all i need is a couple till i get back to portland now, li- now listen i don't want i don't want you to advertise this a little too much because you're you're pushing some things out of this house that might draw a little bit of attention that you don't want i mean you're doing you got lighters going you got cigarettes you're making tacos 
I mean, he's got that breakfast game on point. Got a little entrepreneurial business. I, I mean, you you here. guys fucking you guys get some weird van sitting outside of your house. You might want to go address that shit. Are you gonna bring hey, it? Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> no, I gave it back to the other weirdo. All yeah, right? this is free candy. I'm like, this motherfucker is For fucking. Real, just post it up. outside trolling me. <laughs> just post it up. <laughs> you still gotta make me that shirt that says, "Show me the candy before I get in the van." I'm no dummy. <laughs> <laughs> I think that'll set you up to get abused. Yeah, <laughs> well, duh. I mean, right. look at me. I'm big enough to be abused by like three people. That's like three in one. I can charge triple the price. Yeah, because you're like one of those dudes that would be abused and he'd be like, damn, I had no idea. The abuse game is strong. I mean, you're big enough where it's like, if it could happen to him, it could happen to me. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, I didn't think the Hulk could be sexually molested. That's, wow. that's creepy. Fuck you, Iron Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to well, live on this I, I, planet anymore. We're, we're getting pretty close to a rule. Yeah. So, <laughs> just saying. So what's going on, uh, Swizz Mizzy? Oh, it's time. It's time for my little update now. Yeah, relationship oh, okay. update. Hold on. Relationship Before you get into update. that, what happened to your headphones? Oh no, 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 no. So that's a whole another story. So let me take you back in time uh, this was, to uh, last Wednesday. last it leads to Wednesday we're, we're about to Sunday, take you back, back way back back, back, back back into time but no on Sunday after the show I was cleaning up and I kind of spaced on some of my very important duties to put shit back which were Cinderella uh, <laughs> get the table out the way mics out the way headphones everything in bags like it's supposed to be okay. so didn't do that and I kind of just forgot about it kept going about my business started doing everything I need to do. Wednesday rolls around and our very generous host, the DJ known as Oh So Fresh, needed his headphones at a gig and he didn't have them. And yes, it was all my fault. I felt really bad. I thought I was going to get kicked out. Okay. Like I came We're going to add a new rule to the show. And guess what that rule is? I can't talk. No, because that that was very enlightening that you take you took responsibility for some actions that uh cheers to you chap. you know yeah he said cheers to you mate who uh that could have been detrimental to somebody's career so i uh i want to respect you for that but i don't and uh put the goddamn headphones back where they should be when they're done get your shit together <laughs> <laughs> exactly no I, t- I tell you like this from my perspective it was the problem was it's something that's normally in my bag and I didn't remove it from my bag, so I don't think about the fact that it's gone from my bag. Fair enough. That's what. Like, and the other thing is, like, he's very nice, and he always zips my bag back up. Mm-hmm, like, mm-hmm, when I take mm-hmm. shit out of my bag, I leave my bag unzipped, so when I come back to it, I look at it and go, something must be missing because I was in my bag. Right. So, but no, I had a, a very important event to do with uh, Portland Metro Records. We were out at uh, PDX Rock hard. It was cool. Where wait, there's a oh, rock hard cafe out here? No, it's called PDX Rock Hard. It's a, it's a bar. <laughs> first it's a bar. of all, first of all, it's the Hard Rock Cafe. Really? <laughs> yes. I've been saying that not shit the wrong rock, my whole not life. Not the Rock Hard Cafe because that just sounds like you took <laughs> some saying, Viagra. I've been saying that shit wrong my whole life. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the Hard Rock. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's been the Hard Rock your whole life. <laughs> <laughs> and it has not been hey, rock hard hey, since hey, puberty. That price is right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, back back to you. I'm sorry. But what's the update on this relationship here? Update on this relationship is that I am in some choppy water, but not as choppy as it used to be. It's Are you doing the limbo? Doing the limbo? Trapped Is that what you're doing? Doing, you doing, doing the limbo? No, no. I'm just trying to paddle up this creek with a broken paddle. Uh, how's, how's, how's your paddle broken? I'm just, I'm just. I mean, you know, I, we love to shit on you. Uh-huh. I mean, it is, it is honestly what I get up on Sunday for. Just, <laughs> <laughs> shit on Swiss. <laughs> That's the only two, two, or whatever two, the fuck that is. two years of this show in the making to lead up to you shitting so, on me so, every week. No, 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 hold on, hold on, no, hold no, on. But I, I just want to get this question out. What did you do to get in shit? I don't know. Oh, I, I mean, because I would like to say this from my opinion, because I, I just see it from, I, I get a partial view. You're a fine, upstanding gentleman. You had a place for her to come hang out at. You even cook a bit, take a girl out. You might, I don't know if you take her to Red Lobster, but you take her someplace. I've seen them to go boxes. You're doing something for the girl. <laughs> you see, I mean, you're very easy to get along with. And I, I, I don't, I'm not into dudes, so I'm not going to rate that shit. But I don't see 
what do you do? What do you do wrong? You oh, do I that. didn't. You do I s- guess me being like overprotective is what happened. I caught her texting some dude, and I was worried about it. But is this before or after the dad thing? After. Oh, it's after the dad thing. So you, so you have no grounds to be cranky pants about that. Just so you know, you caught her texting some dude. What she texted him? Things we things I don't we, even th- things we can't talk about on the show. <laughs> what do you mean? Th- what? Okay, hold All on, right. hold on, hold on. Let me let me get this straight. So for the last couple weeks, you've been fucking hiking up Broke Dick Mountain with your little walking stick that's now in the front yard, and she's been she's been right there with you. Kind of may, maybe not hand in hand, but side by side, walking this trail with you, and you get to fucking Shit's Creek, and you're like, "Well, hey, we're we're gonna have to cross Shit's Creek, so you might want to hold my hand. It's about you know, it's about to get a little rough." And she goes, "Nope," Whoosh, and no, just pushes no, you no, into no. Shit's Creek. No, 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 no. no, no. She, she she crosses Shit's Creek on a unicorn <laughs> and waits for him to get across. <laughs> That's what's going on. <laughs> Okay, so so she's texting some dude, and you say what? Is there a bitch in there? Is there? No, no, yeah. no. Oh, I what what, did, like you, what did you say? Her. What did you say? I just wasn't comfortable with it, and I thought that she was trying to, you know, line herself up what with another dude. What did you say? I told her I was worried that she would be leading me on to go be with some other dude. Okay, and she said? No, and she felt really hurt that I didn't trust her. Hold up. Fired. Hold up. Hold up. <laughs> you are Hold fired. Up. Hold up. <laughs> you are, Bitch, we ain't together. I ain't got to trust you. <laughs> <laughs> I said it for you. No, there no, you go. no. But I do have, I mean, if, if I'm over here, I'm chilling. Right. I can have some kind of problem. Right. We, I mean, we used to have something. No, no, no. I'm with you. No. And that's why I say, bitch, I don't have to trust you. While she is here under your, under yours slash his roof. I mean, you pay rent, so his it's roof, pa- his roof, his it's, roof. No, he's no, a you, grown ass man. He, it's his roof. Yeah, yeah. You pay, you pay rent, so it's partially your roof. While you're over here under my roof, hanging out with me, you don't do that shit. You go, you go, fucking text him when you're not with me. That's fucking bullshit. You can't, you can't be running around. It also taught me this when I was a wee little tyke in the radio station. You don't fucking run around and shit where you eat for real. You don't sit there and go, well, I mean, we're not together. It's no big deal. But on the flip side, you need to fucking get off that shit. You can't, you can't, you can't be worried about what I, she's doing. I told you from jump. I'm just going to say told, it. You told I'm, me. I'm just like, you just let that shit go. You for you real? Just let that shit go because it's just going to draw out long. And then you gonna, and then she going she gonna to see you happy and she's going to show out on you. And well, And you know why she's doing that? She's in, you know why she's doing that, yeah. right? Because that, because this other guy is everything you're not. So when you turn into the little grab ass clingy dude, she, she has that to escape. Yeah. To. That's yeah, it, 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 when you why. when you turn into that guy as well, she'll have nowhere to go and yeah. be like, "Well, fuck this other dude. I'm comfortable with Swiss Michaels." Nah, I, I see it like this. I mean, a possible scenario is he goes crazy. And becomes a shitty boyfriend because he's <laughs> jealous of this shit. And really, it, it's it's you can say you let it go, but you don't really let this shit go. I mean, come on. I mean, to the point where you brought it up on the hype podcast. Little applause there. <laughs> the that you it up on the hype podcast. <laughs> that means that it's an issue. But and I think, and, and you know, and no disrespect to her and her motherfucking daddy, but the bitch should go. <laughs> like, you know, I, I mean, shit. I mean, there's oats to be sold, young man. No, I'll, yeah. I'll, I mean, I'll give you, I'll give you a scenario. All, he's all a deuce deuce. I'll, get, I'll give you a scenario. And I'm, I'm the last person who does things right the first time. Okay? So. I don't do things right at all. Right. So, ba- back at the beginning of this year, like January, February-ish, or was it last? I don't fucking remember. Anyway. I was in, when I was in a relationship with the redhead, Right. Well, that relationship began when I ended a friends with benefits situation with a previous. The previous told me, hey, yeah, all I'm interested in is friends and benefits situation. I said, all right, cool. So I'm out with her texting the redhead. Mm. She glanced over and was like, oh, hell no. What the fuck's that shit about? And I was like, you told me 
This was a friends with benefits situation. You got no room to fucking bitch at me. And she was like, well, that's disrespectful and blah, blah, blah. So, of course, I stood my ground and been like, fuck you. The only part of that, <laughs> that I can find disrespectful is that you did it in front of her. But then again, she still has no ground. Hey, I'm not worried about benefits. Put the label on. It. I'm not worried about benefits. I'll go Cobra with my right hand. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Jill has had me company plenty of nights. I don't need you. Yeah, yeah. But, I, mean, I mean, you know, straight up. Well, that's oh, we're a, sounding like your cousin. We're getting scorned over here. That's Hold a up. that's a that's a tough situation over there, bro. Yeah, nah, I, I think, mean, I'm I think not, you just I'm put not, her out to pasture and let yeah, let I think, daddy I think, have her I think, back. I think you let that shit go because that's that's real complicated. It's real complicated, uh, a, and I don't like it because that's, that's a lot of maintenance. So I didn't even tell you she went and chill with you while I was doing other shit at work. Oh wow, you putting all your business. Out there. <laughs> I need I need to talk to someone about this shit, dude. Because I can't hey, talk to her because she'll to freak the fuck out. Listeners. She will freak the fuck out on me, and no, I can't have an actual conversation. No, about I this mean shit. The, the the deal is the deal is you just gotta let it go because it's it's becoming it's becoming more and more complicated. I mean, it was it was simple when it started. Things ran smoothly, and it's not very likely that you're just gonna automatically be nice and bring things back to that point. If you over there chilling with old boy, and you you probably you probably just need to go. I mean, you got game, man. Go ahead, go ahead, move on. Get another Philly. We know about your game. Enough. We know what we know. What time you roll in in the mornings? Yeah, I, I, you rolled in at like what four a.m. this morning? No, seven seven a.m. Well, and gone. I and I, we won't talk about your business, where you were, what you were doing. But I was, I was having fun. There you go. You're having fun. I mean, you just be out you're having out, fun you're, doing you're, your shit. You're out having fun with a bunch of gay men. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <it's>, why? <laughs> why would you do that to me, dog? I'm just saying. <laughs> now I can't hey. even say I was working because that make it sound even worse. <laughs> Hey, it's the it's shit like that that actually causes people to riot. You need to fucking tone that shit down. Hey, dude, you don't have to be a lonely girl. Yeah. Uh, (laughs) Is that an actual song of yours? No. Oh, I thought it was for me. I thought you was like quoting like some. No, that's like some old '60s shit. Hey, lonely girl. Whatever. What was that like? Do it again. Do it again. I know how to do it. You just hey, wait for Dick Clark to come on. Oh, so fresh. Just hit the falsetto on the fucking hype podcast. He said, "He said, oh, you is a lonely girl." Yeah. Yeah, yeah. brought it down like he was Whitney Houston yeah, for a minute. I did. Yeah, I did. That's hey, how you, I fucking roll. Can you do the and I? No, 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 no. I, I, wow, he's holding that shit really well. <laughs> That's all he has to do with his life now. Yeah. Right. So, um, can you do How Will I Know? You know that one by Whitney Houston? No, I actually don't know. You know, that. I want to dance with somebody. I want to hear like an up tip or something. I really want to. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're going to do Whitney Houston. I know, I know some Gloria Estefan. You do the conga? Some, some 90s Mariah Carey. Which some Mariah 90s, Carey you which know? Mariah? Dream lover, come rescue me. Oh, that was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> that was horrible. Hey, hey it hey, sounded hey, about as good as right Mariah. Again. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That was, that was, that was. Hey, you know, you know she lost her fucking, you remember when she lost her mind? Yeah. That bitch is on top of the world. I was going to say, it sounded like Mariah without her fucking autotune just I mean, now. she... No, Mariah Carey could fucking sing. She used to be. I, 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 she can't anymore. I would slap the shit out of you every say Mariah Carey could sing. <laughs> Mariah Carey could fucking sing. Yo. And, and, and I do not condone violence on the fucking podcast, but I will slap the shit out of you if you say Mariah Carey can't sing. Sorry, related side note. I almost slapped somebody in the face for telling me that Lil Uzi was better than Kendrick Lamar. What's a little Uzi? Don't ask. I right. I don't know. We're at work. <laughs> Were you at work? Oh Jesus! Oh damn. You, okay. No yeah. end bombs are slapping people on the job. That's why I was like, "That's why you don't." I'm stay, a, I'm gonna let you hold that. That's why you don't set. stay places very long. I'm gonna let you I, hold. I, that. I don't have debates like that at work. <laughs> <laughs> I see. You know what? I don't have to base this shit on people. If I can't shit on you, then we're not gonna talk about it. <laughs> like for real, the dude tried to tell me that Lil Uzi was better than Kendrick, and I was like, "Give me eight coherent bars right now." What does that nigga say? See, wow, there he goes. Sorry, see? there he goes. See? Was it was it a black man? Yeah, this okay. is why we, this is why we can't have nice that's, things. That's why we can't have nice things. So let me tell you how it works. You don't wait for somebody to give you evidence. You just fucking damn all their evidence. <laughs> <laughs> Guilty till proven innocent. <laughs> I mean, you know, I mean, Kendrick Lamar got Rolling Stone write ups, multiple platinum albums. Everybody is fucking with Kendrick Lamar. Even old heads is fucking with Kendrick Lamar. Old heads is fucking and, with him. And Lil right Uzi, they don't even fucking with that. I only know one song by that. Super, I don't even know who that guy is. Super Sucker Enthusiast, Lil Uzi. Um, Say Super Sucker? Super Soaker Enthusiast. Super Soaker. <laughs> 
That sucks, say, nigga. You guys are fucking ridiculous. And stop <laughs> dropping end bombs. Jesus Christ, that's like two and three minutes. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, if you really just damn a motherfucker out. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> see, see, see how I did that. See how I did that. See how I did that. See if you really just shut up. See, you see, I gotta learn just to shut a motherfucker down. I can't wait for you to make an argument. Fuck that. I'm just going to shit on you where your arguments just seem so stupid. You're going to yell at somebody <laughs> and, and tell them your argument because you couldn't get it out. Just be ready for people's opinions to not fucking matter or have any relevance. Just be ready to make people feel like they're irrelevant. Yeah. If you make somebody's opinion feel like it's irrelevant, yeah, they're going to look at you a little funny, but fuck you one. Yeah, yeah. No, you, it's not like these fucking parades where people are out there like holding signs like we want our rights. Like, no, we don't give a shit about that. You don't deserve rights. You're fucking felons. Who cares? Kick rocks. We do what we want. Okay, I See, thought that was going in a whole other another path. It was gonna. But you know, it's with the with the past few years, things have gotten a little bit out of hand when people try to go for their rights, protest for their rights. We don't do it right anymore. No. I, what's, I mean, I what's, mean, what's right? I, okay, so I saw Detroit this week. Okay. Great movie. I I heard I read a review that there weren't enough female characters. You know what? There weren't enough monkeys either. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not comparing women Caesar? to monkeys. I'm just saying. And I saw that monkey movie and that sucked. But <laughs> he didn't he doesn't You know, like until I saw this movie, I never really looked at rioting and why people riot. I mean, maybe I just never took a rational look. Mm-hmm. But it's the fact that I have done Everything the fuck I can do, and the only thing I can do now is just tear shit up. It doesn't make, it, it, in a way, it doesn't make any sense. But in a way, after you saw the way the cops were acting, like, what do you want me to do? Fucking vote, right? Right. Yeah. Yo, you want me to fucking vote? Oh, you want me to? Oh, you want me to have a peaceful protest? Can't nope. even do that. That's not gonna fucking work. That's not helping shit. Right, my congressman? Can't just walk up to the fucking state house no more. I got. I am working my ass off for subpar wages, and then I got the police out here treating me like shit, like I am a lesser citizen. Are you talking about the movie? Or are you talking about modern day? Because <laughs> it, it links up. Are you talking? Yeah, are you talking about I, the I, movie? I, or are you I, talking I, about Friday night? What I, happened? I'm, talking, <laughs> I'm just talking about any riot in fucking general. Right. right. Okay. Like I mean, yeah, you guys. I, I, that's. I think that's what makes it boil over. Because you look at the L.A. riots, the the okay. Watts riots. That was over a fucking traffic stop. Right. No. That okay. That that's to my point though. Like you, we don't fucking do it right anymore. Like nowadays, Baltimore, eh? They were close. Well, the other, they were close. The other thing you have to remember is they cannot raise up and seize that territory. That's okay. the other thing that that doesn't come into play. You know, in other you know other parts of the world, different different times in history, if you and your people in your area rose up and said "fuck y'all," get the fuck away from that us, became your right. own thing. That became that became your country. That's why there's all sorts of Wanias and right. Becky stands and shit like that. Micronesia, but, yeah. Like when they rioted in Portland, it's still Portland after they it's, fucked it, shit it's up. Still, it's still Portland, but that's not. I'm saying the difference being when it's an ethnic group. Mm-hmm. That's a bunch of white folks. Who are they going to succeed from? <laughs> Right, <laughs> had enough of whitey. <laughs> you know, I, Still can't get away from them. I mean, you know, I, I don't like their sliced white bread. I'm fucking wheat. I don't know. I don't know why why they would fuck with it. But it when you saw like the government come in with all these fucking tanks and such, like they did in Ferguson, like they do in Baltimore, right? You're like, fuck. It looks like fucking the Middle East, right? It really looks like the fucking Middle East. It looks no. Fucking different because America. And then, and then I, I think in my mind, I think back to us when I see footage of the fucking Middle East. Oh, that's why you're fucking pissed off, right? Well, see, the, I've actually I read up a little bit about this, and not not just the Detroit riots in general, but whenever there's an uprising or a coup or a hostile takeover of pretty much anything, it's when the peoples unite, right? And one of the things I was reading about is that's why. The United States and several countries now are divided into factions. We're divided into states. They're divided into territories, little areas. Why do you think Canada's divided into threes? Because if Alberta defects, oh, well, it's just Alberta. Three-fourths of our mighty country yeah. is still in cahoots with our government. Yeah. Detroit decides to defect. Baltimore. These little tiny states look out and say, well, it's one against 49. Well, it's two against 49 and the government says you're on your own well you can't do this without us 
That's why they divide us up into these small little factions because uh, people get fucking nuts over sports. Yeah. You know, uh, that I love bringing up this meme like that 2% T tax. Fuck you. We're going to war. 40% income tax. Oh, whatever. Get, we're cool with that. Yeah. We're, why are we cool with that? Because in Washington, it's different than Oregon. Oh, I'm a Washingtonian. I'm not, I'm not a fucking Oregonian. I don't deal with that shit. Fuck you. I drive across the bridge to go to work. All of a sudden, I'm dealing with that shit. Am I rising up, causing fucking political outrage? No. Why? Because it won't matter. Nobody cares. The only people who identify with that issue is the select few that have to drive back and forth across the bridge. Do you think Seattle's going to give a fuck? Well, they... Think Spokane will give a fuck? No. I mean, you, you think you think about how powerless we are. Like, even if everybody in Oregon decided to violently secede from from the union, right? They would come get us. Yeah, they're not letting us leave. They don't even have to come get us. They're already here. You know how many fucking military bases that's, we that's, have that's, in the area? I'm just saying. I mean, they would. I mean, they would definitely. They would put down the rebellion. Yeah. I mean, there is no coup d'état in, in America. There really isn't. And if you look at it, like we had the uh, the so-called peaceful protests over fucking Trump and Hillary, yeah. people vandalizing, Broke fucking uh, running around on the freeways, they didn't even care. The government didn't give a fuck. No. The police didn't even give a fuck. Because they knew in two weeks it'd be over. Right. They know that we are so fucking docile and uh, bred to believe like, oh, well, yeah, we're getting shit done. No, we're not. No, you we're not I- fucking getting anything done. For example, the guy, Will, uh, how do you pronounce his name? Will Palter? I think he played the guy Cross or Kraus in Detroit. Yeah. I watched an interview with him on doing this movie, and he said this was the most impactful, most powerful movie he's ever done because he learned so much about racism and what it means and what it means to actually live on the other side of the coin because he's multimillionaire. He's a yeah. fucking actor. Yeah. He's, a, he's a, probably a millennial. Or a Z or a fucking X, Y, well, or whatever he, he, the fuck he, was, he is. He was the main cop, right? I think so, yeah. Oh, yeah, that dude was a dick. Yeah, it's this guy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and so, oh, yeah. So the, he ta- yeah, yeah, fucking, so fucking he he Happy talks, Gilmore right there. No, yeah. the dude from Where the Millers. <laughs> yeah. No. So he talks about how powerful this movie was and how it changed his perspective on life in general. Because the way people were treated back then, based on how they're treated now, he said is exactly the fucking same. They just use different words. Yeah. Like Wouldn't it be dope if we could just wake up all of white America like that? No, but it's not just white America. It's everybody. It's Latin America. It's fucking Asian America. It's everybody. Everybody in the United States is exactly the same because we're fed this fucking bullshit like, land of the free. Home of the brave. L- land of the free. We, well, we, it, we it, have freedom. It, it, is it really the land of the free when the government's the only one that can use violence to that's, enforce that's their will? That's my point. That's my point is... He brings up the fact that we're all so divided by racism, religion, by anything we can. We're divided about Pepsi and Coke. For Why real? do you think I mean, they feed you surveys I, about fucking bullshit you'll but, never care about? But when you compare us to Canada, in Canada, it's it's about your culture. Like, right. Us all enjoying your culture. Mm-hmm. In America, it's about melting pot. Like, yeah. you, must, you must become part of the Borg. Right. So but what? But what? I mean, part, of, part I mean, of what Borg though? We got fucking Punjabi and uh, Middle East Indian folks on the East Coast setting up their own fucking communities where they don't speak English. There's Muslim communities in fucking London doing the same thing where Londonites aren't allowed. How long do you think before that shit fucking happens here? That shit will boil over here. I mean, there's some there's there's some racist ass crackers that would not really stand really for that. really. You think that shit will boil over? Go into I, a fucking Piru neighborhood in L.A. Good luck. That's different. How is that different? Because that's gangbangers. Right. Gangbangers. And what are all these fucking unnative foreign people fucking ISIS. bringing in religion no, no, no. and fucking no, no, uh, foreign I, I, language? I will, tell, I will tell you, in comparison to, I mean, I don't, I, don't be such an asshole, because in comparison to your average Muslim citizen or someone that's from the Middle East, mm-hmm. a citizen, comparing them to a gangbanger is really not the way to go. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, not, saying, I'm not comparing no, but individuals. That, that, that is the comparisons you just made. No, it's not. I think, well, no, no. The why, comparison I just I mean, made. Pause. I the think he's only talking about extremists, though. No, the comparison yeah. I just extremists made. Extremists don't have fucking neighborhoods. There's always like a couple extreme guys on your block. But <laughs> I mean, the neighborhoods the are in The comparison I just made are cultural neighborhoods. I'm saying the Middle East. A Crip Indian, neighborhood is not a cultural neighborhood. You don't. You don't think it no, is. It's not a cultural. neighborhood. Really, you don't think it is not a cultural. neighborhood. You don't neighborhood. think they're black and Hispanic. No, you don't I, think I, the I, fucking essays no, are all Hispanic. 
But it's a black neighborhood. Right. It's a Hispanic so neighborhood. So that's not a fucking it's culture? Not a Piru that's neighborhood. That's not a culture? Piru, and you're talking about blood gang. That's different. So you're telling so that you're telling me I that I mean that's like Yankees and Celtic fans. You know what I'm saying? I so mean, you're, that's so just you're like, telling so I mean, you're telling me that there's a there's black neighborhoods that are all Crips and that's not a culture. No, that's, I'm considering that a culture. That's not a culture or it's a not, lifestyle. If you go to a if you go to a Crip neighborhood, there's not a Crip living in every house. There's regular people that live in that neighborhood. Okay. So they are not affected. They are not part of that culture. Okay. How are they? they have, how are they not? They just happen to live there and they do have to abide by certain things to not get fucked up by the Crips. It kind of sucks. There you go. But. No, it's they 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 have not created their own sub- subculture within this neighborhood. Yes, they have. Not not the innocent bystanders who have to live in the neighborhood, but the Crips that have surrounded which it, it. Which is exactly my which point. I'm, what I'm saying is, you do not have majority Crip neighborhoods. But yeah, that's, in, that's, in, that's, in any neighborhood that the, the Crips or Bloods own, I would be surprised if they're more than five to ten percent of the neighborhood. I'd be very surprised. Okay, I mean, so, you're talking about a crib in every house, a bandana <laughs> on every flag. When, when, when you move propaganda. in, you get a complimentary blue bandana. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and one vial of crack. No, no, damn, but, one, no, only one I, vial. But what you I gotta start somewhere. <laughs> but what I, what I'm saying is when when those cultural neighborhoods are developed and they start to expand, that whole lifestyle starts to expand with it. So whether, uh, like I think a not, better comparison is Chinatown. Let's go for Chinatown. No, whether uh, Chinatown's a great example, but whether you like it or not, it's a fact, dude. These gang neighborhoods are cultural neighborhoods. They're instilling that fear, that moniker in everybody who lives there. Five to ten percent, that's fine. There's five to ten percent of fucking uh, Punjabi and Indian folks that are not Muslim. Punjabi and Indian are different. I know they're different. Okay, I'm just making sure because we're yeah. not talking about Muslims. We're talking about communities yeah. and cultures. Yeah. So. Five to ten percent of those people in New York, how many fucking hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people, would that five percent make up on the East Coast? I don't know. We got a whole guy, fucking lot. That guy has a calculator. A whole lot, right? So when these cultures grow and expand, they're like fucking locusts, man. And we're too goddamn ignorant but, to fucking but, pick up on that shit and learn what it's doing, like what's happening. But we're okay with a project full of darkies. Right. That's, we're good that's, with that. Look how fucked with, up that is. How good. fucked up we're is good. that? We're good with that. Yeah, that's fucking awesome. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Yeah, because I mean, we're t- we're still talking about white flight. The motherfuckers who, who who created white flight. Yeah, they're still alive. Right. I mean, they're doing reverse mortgages now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're old and fucked up and living but in no, the White House. And no, shit. I mean, no, the, he's not a white flight guy. He was. He's beyond. He didn't have to worry about it. That's true. I mean, you know, we're talking about the motherfuckers in the 60s, 70s, and 80s. When black folks moved to your neighborhood, you automatically moved to the suburbs. Yeah, that's true. Now, why why do you think people are moving to fucking Oregon? Because they... Because we contained our blacks. <laughs> I met a dude that just I was I was working an event this morning. I met a dude that just moved here from Tacoma. And he's like, Where do you I was like, Oh, so what part you in? And he's like, Oh, one eighty eight. I said, Oh, and the numbers. He's like, Yeah. Everybody calls it the numbers. And then I go, Oh, you know, the gentrification thing. He goes, Every black person from here tells me that story too. See, that's that's wow. what I'm talking about. We just use different fucking words nowadays. Gentrification. Like break that down. Give me a definition of gentrification for people who don't know what it means. Gentrification is when you you drive a either a social a certain social class or uh, ethnic group out of an area. Right. And what did it used to be called? I don't know. It used to be called. It's always been fucked up. No. <laughs> it used to be called. It's always been fucked up. No. no ba- I'll g- I'll give you a hint. Ba- back in war war times and medieval times, it was called ethnic cleansing. Oh, they still call it that now, but they, they, but they, they but now but they now they didn't slaughter a bunch of folks. There's right. no mass graves. I don't know about them. Right, right. I mean, right. I got, no, but I'm I got, saying I got, I got a few cousins I haven't seen in a while. Ethnic cleansing. You only you only off the people that stay, and I'm talking wartime. So yeah. they gave you a chance, a chance to, leave. to leave. Yeah. But in wartime, they gave you a chance to leave. In most cases, it's the people who stayed that were like, see ya. We told you. We well, warned you. They, they Nowadays, they call it fucking gentrification, like it's some sort of like soft, soft fucking language that's PC that everyone's okay with. Yeah, they don't we, kill you. They just try and throw you in prison. Yeah, because we want you and your kind to live here now. Yeah, we're okay with you and your kind living here. That was fine. But now we need. But that now, space. yeah, we need that space. Yeah. And hey, you know ridiculous. what? You know what we're gonna do? 
we're going to do everything we fucking can to drive down the property values. Right. Hey, hey, let's lighten the policing. Hey, let's lighten the community outreach. Hey, let's make it real fucked up over there. And then when you leave, let's build up some nice shit. And then and then the property values will drop so low that we can just come swoop it up. Exactly. And then when see, I love George Carlin put this best, man. In politics and things like that, they don't they don't ever give you that straight answer, right? Like they're they're not questioning what happened, they're inquiring. Yeah. They're they're not they're not deciding they're ascertaining the value. I don't know why Darky McDarkerson's not here anymore. I just <laughs> didn't want him around. And you know, when you, especially when you when you phrase it as ethnic cleansing, yeah, that would make you want to riot. Yeah. And the thing is, and it was brought up. It was like, well, why didn't they just go riot in a white neighborhood? Because they'd have shot him dead for real, for real. They'd and it, it would have been okay back then. And, and it, 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 oh, what? There's three of you. Oh, cool. Yeah. <laughs> Only need three bullets. Yeah, exactly. you know. I mean, they would. They definitely would have ran motherfuckers over with tanks. Dude, I still think, and I, I have not seen Detroit for this reason. I want, I wanted your take on it, and you know, my naive approach. I still think the movie Fences with Denzel Washington was one of the most amazing movies. How would you compare Detroit to that from a completely opposite perspective? I haven't seen Fences. Maybe we should compare notes next week. You haven't seen it? No. It's just wow. For a minute. So so basically, I know it's been out for a minute. That's so it, 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 you me, hey, fuck you! You had me watch goddamn <laughs> Matrix, and that shit is weak. That shit is weak, weak. Yeah, he's like, anyway. you haven't seen Fences? I just fucking showed you the Matrix from like 1996, bro. What it, the fuck? And that shit was weak. Yeah. First of all, first of all, nice try, but don't put me. And Thor in. was weak too. <laughs> hey, 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 don't you dare disrespect Marvel. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. Anyway, but, go ahead, continue. I'm saying I just had to call this motherfucker out because you. No movie recommendations from you because that shit was <laughs> weak. No, in in the movie Fences, Denzel Washington plays this character. He's a uh, you know between the night. 19- oh, that Fences. Yeah, I've seen that. I thought you. I fucking <laughs> knew you'd seen it. I thought you were just fucking bullshitting me. No, I was thinking of some other movie. Oh, well, yeah. What other fucking movie were you possibly thinking of with Denzel Washington called Fences? Because there's like 20 other Denzel movies I haven't seen. So I was just like, oh, well, maybe it's just one I haven't seen. Jesus Christ. Well, I'm not talking about John Q or the fucking Manchurian Candidate. Yeah, I haven't seen those. G- me neither. Well, actually, I did watch the Manchurian Candidate. I did candidate. watch that. I watched the one with him and Donnie Wahlberg or yeah. Marky Mark. <laughs> oh, <laughs> two guns. Out of yeah. all the movies I should have watched by Denzel. <laughs> right? yeah. Yeah. So how so, would you compare it to Fences? Like Fences in Detroit. What do you think? Um, it's hard to compare because Fences is more about them and their their life, you know, and more of their a, their life as black folks. Their life as black folks, but you you could tell that they lived def they definitely lived in that era and pre that era by the way that they related to white people. Okay, like there was this utmost respect. Hey, you know what I'm saying? We're not causing no problems. Right? Hey. Everything is good. We're gravy. That was before they started marching and going through all that shit. They're like, hey, I'm I I am very content. Just don't come fuck up my shit. And that is that is living that is living in fear to me. So so would you say they were maybe a lower to middle class in the movie Fences, or were they an upper class? I'd say they lower. I'd say they were they were probably lower middle class. I mean, they were they were okay. How how were people in the movie Detroit? How was it depicted for them? Was it the well, same? Well, there were several. There were there was a lot of characters in Detroit. Sure, I mean there was some. Ki- there was one guy who came from. Uh, there was a couple guys who came from middle class homes. There was mm-hmm. a couple guys you didn't even know where they came from. And because I didn't live in that era, I couldn't really put a social status on them. They were just dudes, you know. Yeah, and and they were all, and none of them were like criminals. Not okay. like like bad guys, just regular working class guys, just regular working class guys, and they were. And there's there's a the pivotal point in the movie. They go through this ordeal with the police, and it is it's horrifying to watch. And it's horrifying to see how many people stood by and just left while they were abusing these people instead of instead of going, no, that's fucking wrong. Why are you doing that? Stop that! They're like, no, no, don't want to write up the paperwork. Let's just let their and they're fucking up. Oh, just let them be in there fucking up. Well, and see, this, this kind of brings me back to what we were talking about last week, as far as like the public lynchings and things like that. It's that brainwashing of our culture, that stand, that stand idly by culture. We don't have those boots on the ground like we did back in the day. Well, who, I mean, at that point, who really wants? Even though you you feel kind of bad, 
who really wants to stand up for the black guy? Because I mean, you're gonna be you're gonna be persecuted all the same. Well, it's, I mean, it's, it's really, you know, I know people did it and it took a lot of balls. Big ups to them. You can truly say that you marched with King because it was fucked up. Yeah. I mean, the re- I, uh, you, rest of you darkies, just shut up. I'm tired of hearing Well, <laughs> Well, and it's it kind of, it brings me to this next piece that I watched just this last week and it was completely fucked up. This uh, These group of four teenagers down in Florida, mm-hmm. they're standing on the jetty. And if you don't know what a jetty is, it's fucking rocks, like the rock formations at the edge of the water on the ocean, right? And they're sitting there, they're bullshitting around. One of them's got his phone out, doing his Snapchat, whatever the fuck he's doing. And all of a sudden, the camera pans over the water. And you see a guy who looks like he's struggling to swim. And uh, they sit there, and they're just uh, watching this guy like, oh, what's, what's oh, going I, on? Oh, I remember that. What's yeah, going yeah, yeah, on? Yeah, yeah. And they start laughing and joking around. And it turns out this guy's really fucking drowning. Four teenagers sat there laughing at this guy making fun of him filming him fucking die those kids are in jail right no they can't they can't indict him there's no there's no bystander law in Florida but you just heard about that girl that went to, to that went to doing two years over telling the dude to kill himself over yeah that was, yeah that was her encouraging some fucking dude to kill himself first of all it, it, first of all and, the, and this is for you Swiss I'm pointing at you because you're dealing with lady troubles right now Ain't if no, she, if she no, ever hold up, hold you to up, fucking hold up, ain't no broad that influential besides my mama that could get me to kill myself. Hey, not even, my, not even not my even mama. my mom no, could I, get I, me I, off myself. I, I mean, I, 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 there is just no female. You but I'm just saying, that. like, no, not even my mom oh, is that influential. Hold on, hold on I just got text from my mom. Oh, yeah. kill oh I need to go kill myself. I'm gonna go jump off the Hawthorne. Okay. Yeah, like, like you're a disgrace. You should just fucking kill yourself. Aww, your podcast I'm gonna go make a diss track. Yeah, yeah, your podcast sucks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I actually would text her back if my mom ever said that. Like your podcast sucks, you should go kill yourself. I'd be like, "Fucking clap back diss track, mom." Boom. <laughs> That's all I would text back to her. And I, I would just be like, you know, I'd straight up be like, "Hey, you didn't even listen to the show. You don't. Know. <laughs> yeah, you don't know. You don't know. No, you don't but, know. You but don't it's know. fucking. It's just weird, man. It's that mentality that people have nowadays. Like where you can fucking watch." Somebody die, right? Like, yeah, I mean, I, and I enjoy watching a good ass whooping. I watch them on YouTube, and I'm like, damn, I wish somebody would stop that, right? <laughs> I really, that's fucked up. But him again, yeah, no, and dude, that's our fucking culture, and everybody thinks like, oh, no, we're totally not that way. We are exactly the same fucking way. How, Sheeple. How, how many horrible things have you seen happen? And there's five versions of the video. Yeah, and everybody's within distance to help with whatever's going on. Right, and no one lays a finger, dude. There's a there was a fucking video of I think it was in Russia, somewhere overseas. This dude's filming a lady fucking getting murdered on the side of the street. Her boyfriend's fucking stabbing her repeatedly, and there's seven people standing around watching. Finally, one guy rushes in, tries to pull the fucking dude off him. The guy starts coming at him with the knife. Finally, another guy's like, "Oh shit." Let me go help. So, like, two or three guys finally fucking jump in after this lady's been stabbed over 40 times. And then the guy cuts two of the rescuers and stabs another one. And now they're sitting there like, oh, well, I don't want to get cut or stabbed again. He goes back to fucking stabbing the lady on the side of the street and people are just watching. This is why sane people need to be able to have guns. and (laughs) And by this time, there's... 12 to 15 bystanders there. I mean, so, tell me 12 I mean, to 15 so, fucking people so, so, can't take out one dude with a knife. So, Fuck you, Flight 93. Fuck you, 9-11. So, 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 kind of pussy with hold everybody. On. So let's, let's figure this out. You're there. The guy pulls out a knife. Hold on, hold on. Okay, so I'm walking down the street. You're walking down the I'm street. I'm on the opposite side of the sidewalk. And, and you see him stabbing his and you, and No, no, no. He pulls out the knife. Okay. And you go, damn, that's interesting. I should snap him with the knife. Okay. He stabs her once. And you're going, oh, well, that's kind of fucked up. I better continue my snap. He snaps her twice. Now, hang on. Let, let's give let's, <laughs> let's give a, the 10-second grace period for shock value because it takes seven seconds for your brain to register. Like that shit's that real. Something, you know, that actually happened just now. Then maybe another three or four seconds for you to make that decision. Okay, let's say he's five stabs deep. Okay. Mm. <laughs> so at that point, do you stop snapping and go, help? Or do you wait till he gets to 12? Or do you do the rational thing and call nine one one? By the time you call nine one one, he will be at a hundred. He's he's up to he's up to twenty five or thirty by the time nine one one answers. He's up to thirty from us just talking. Yes, 
<laughs> that, that's correct. Yeah, because we would be standing there across the street talking about talking hey. about this shit while this lady gets <laughs> like, like, hey, which he's one up, of us? He's, is, he's up to five. No rape or cash, but we can talk about slaughter. You gonna move? You gonna get it? You, you, gonna, oh. get it? No, you, know, you know, it's like like when you're sitting there, y'all come to the door and y'all look at each other like, who's gonna get it? <laughs> no, but I mean that—that's exactly it too. Because, uh, for example, if us three found ourselves in that situation, seeing something like that happen, by and and I—I I mean this not offensively. I'm a hundred percent sure both of you would look at me and go, "That's you." Yeah, that is you. Because I'm big. I've had training. You go to Japan, right? I mean, I've right, had I've had training. You're so, really into so, karate. So in in that Ninjutsu. moment. In that moment of that revelation, how many seconds have gone by? Nothing in hand. So we're we're looking at another seven to ten seconds has gone by before that decision's even made. Before you so can even 20, cross the street. That's twenty seconds before somebody even perceives to go rescue this person. Unless you're like Batman, you're like, oh, trouble, let's go. But the the sad part is, I can never get out my phone quick enough to catch anything cool on video. <laughs> I can never ever, and I'm just like these motherfuckers just pull their phone out. That, like that was their first reaction. Helping her was not even an option in their mind. Right? Not, you don't I, have the hotkey set up. I don't have the hotkey. I'm pretty sure you like tap twice on your phone and it's camera. Oh, well, I do no, but that. but I see where you're going with this. Like for a lot of people nowadays, it's not even a fucking thought to jump to put themselves in harm's way and assistance of somebody else. Yeah. Well, one thing that holds you back is fuck. Why don't you get fucking sued? That's also true. Yeah. I could definitely see that. You know, because maybe the bitch was cool with it. Yeah. <laughs> well, Seriously, it, like if you jump into a domestic dispute, yeah, there is yeah. a good chance if you jump in and you whoop his ass, right, that she'll be like, "Oh, well, that's just the way baby Ray treat me, so I'm good." You no, know, I, I, you need you need you well, you I've, need the intervention. I've been in situations like that where I've had uh, I've had dudes in public beating you, uh, assaulting. Their girlfriends in one fashion or another when it comes to just grabbing them by the arm or grabbing them by the throat, things like that. I've seen that. And I've also interjected on a few occasions and just said, whoa, whoa, whoa. Like, like, let's, you, let, you, let's, like let's take this, you know. Why you put the kung fu grip on that bitch's throat? Right. So I'm like, hey, e- you know, easy, tiger. I've had the fucking girl look at me and be like, this is none of your fucking business. Okay. okay. And she's the one getting choked out. Yeah. So you're exactly right. I mean, you you have to be weary stepping into those situations. Absolutely. She said so it. it's totally a judgment call. When uh, you know you see somebody getting stabbed or getting fucking shot, dude, that that's you. Like yeah, case yeah. by case, you have to take that moment and be like, hey, is it worth it? Is it not worth it? Dude, this ain't murder. She wrote. This shit don't happen every week. Right. No. Exactly. <laughs> it's not like yeah. We don't get a lot of practice with that, especially here in fucking Vancouver, Washington. I, yeah. Could you? I mean, you really imagine living out here, and it's let's say three times a year you see somebody nearly die, like sure. just just being Maybe. a regular guy, not being a not being like a a, a EMT or, or a firefighter or a police or a, officer or a hype podcaster or a hype podcaster or whatever. Like you just hey, every time you're walking down the street, somebody's getting robbed and almost <laughs> dying. Like, dude, how different would your life be? It wouldn't go outside. It'd be very different. It'd be like an episode of Law and Order every day. <laughs> like, damn. <laughs> Getting the popcorn as soon as you walk out the front door. Yeah, right. Somebody tried to fucking rob you for your popcorn. Yeah, we're smoking Jerry Arbach, man. <laughs> yeah, is that kettle corn? <laughs> no, no, no. It's just regular movie theater butter. Move oh, along. Hey, hold on. Fuck yeah, it's butter free. I, I, I gotta make a call. Who are you calling? No, you goddamn business. His boo damn business. His damn, I just, his added, boo-boo. I, I just added somebody to favorites. Fuck, that's As you up. should. Oh no! I think I deleted my mom. That's fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> it was all over that. You got a shitty podcast comment. Yeah. Yeah, it really was, dude. That that'll fucking divide people, man. I'm telling you. Shit work. Yeah. You hooked it up. Why hey, hey, up? hey! Hey, what's happening? Johnny. What's up, Johnny? You hear us, Johnny? Can you hear us? Hello. Johnny C. Johnny. Johnny. Hello. Hello. Johnny. Johnny. Hello. Hey, you're not getting this. Hello. Hello. He's like five seconds away from hanging up. Hey, Johnny. Johnny. Something. Sorry, something was wrong with our phone connection. (laughs) (laughs) Don't laugh. It ain't funny. It is. It is funny. <laughs> so what's happening, Johnny? Hey man, Sunday, Sunday, late afternoon, and 
Nap Town, a.k.a. Indianapolis. Dude, how are them Colts going to do this year, bro? Uh, yeah, yeah they're still rebuilding, son. Oh, that's a, that's a nice way to say they're going to be a shitty team. I'm not, <laughs> I don't follow football like that, but that's <laughs> rebuilding. <laughs> I, I mean, me personally, I'm a basketball guy, and there's a lot of rebuilding, especially, so, so especially Johnny, in that part of the world. Johnny, before we get it, before we get into you and your feelings, who, who's your prediction for the Super Bowl this year? Mm. Man, I'm going to have to go with. Um, I think. I think there's a good chance, and I know this is going to sound probably a little crazy. Yeah. But I think I think there's a, there's a chance that we could see a uh, Jacksonville Seattle Jaguars. Super Bowl. A Seattle what Super Bowl? Oakland. Seattle Oakland. I was thinking that too, but I'm thinking more Seattle Green Bay. I always thought Seattle and Oakland were like in the same like conference. Yeah, division. I, I'm wrong. Okay. But wait, wait. It, it couldn't it couldn't be Seattle Green Bay because they're both NFC teams. Hmm. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Hey, does Oakland become a different division when they move to Vegas, or are they stay in the same one? Hell yeah, they're gonna be the baller division. <laughs> no, <that's> the-, <laughs> <laughs> the bling division. <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna, they're gonna still be in the AFC. Are they? Yeah, they're, they're not gonna, they're not gonna change that. They're just all they're doing is changing cities. That's all. Oh, okay. Cool. Cool. So what's been up, man? It's been a while. You're out there in Indy just doing it big? What's going on with you? Yeah, well, I'm um, still working for uh, still working for OSHA, so I'm still out there fighting the good fight, doing the doing the safety inspection. Wait, are you, are you Johnny Slip and Fall? No, you prevent <laughs> Johnny Slip and Fall. <laughs> that's, your, that's your job. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you got people around here losing fingers left and right. Shut the fuck up! Hey, yay! We don't need ten fingers, motherfucker. That's why they gave us so many. Really? I mean, is it like a it's just? I mean, just motherfuckers just randomly losing fingers. I mean, shit. Is it <laughs> like are the are the are the, are the desk are the desk drawers that sharp? I mean, what's going on? I mean, <laughs> is this some new kind of mouse they use that I don't use, or is this uh, it's just at the meat packing factory? <laughs> this is um, it's crazy. I mean, I did uh, two years. In Alaska, and in uh, in all that time, I probably racked up. I racked up about 170, 180 cases, and in that in that whole time span, I might might have had maybe two or three amputations. I've been here for nine months, and I've got I don't know. I got like forty something, almost fifty cases under my belt. What the fuck? I guess eighteen of them have been. Uh, amputations. I can see if you're like in Cleveland or Detroit. What are you doing to those poor fuckers out there, Johnny? Man, I'm just I'm there after the fact. <laughs> well, I don't got like fucking hedge clippers. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 maybe those motherfuckers be wilding her out because they can finally they can really move around. Like <laughs> motherfuckers, you get four seasons just wild out. Like <laughs> first day of summer, woo, lose a finger. <laughs> They got man. They got me held up, and I'm in, I'm in the I'm in the northernmost southern state in the United States, man. They got fucking Confederate flags all over the damn place. People talking about its heritage, not hate. Wait, wait. The northernmost <laughs> southern I don't know where state. The fuck I'm at, but it's not not what I thought. Where Where the fuck are you? the northernmost southern state? What does that even mean? It's the furthest you can go north with people still hey. drinking sweet tea under the Mason Dixon line. Yeah, where but people talk. But yeah, let, people, me, let me say that again. I wasn't in the microphone. Indiana should be wedged somewhere between Alabama and Mississippi. <laughs> See, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Johnny, Johnny, anybody that can wedge you anywhere, I'm impressed. <laughs> <laughs> Run around here looking like fucking big pun and shit. <laughs> Man, I've had more people come up to me and just straight up. I mean, not even. Not even that and I just walk up to me and be like, "What are you?" <laughs> they need, I'm American. What are you? They need. What, are, what am I? They, they need to know. <laughs> I mean, they need to know what order they got to shoot you. <laughs> I mean, they are they starting with the darkies. I mean, you might be like third or fourth. Now, hey, when they ask you that, Johnny, you just gotta look at them and say, "I'm not a player. I just crush a lot." 
that. I said that for real. I won that at this one bar. Yeah. <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't even know what the hell I meant by that. <laughs> you should just say you're blazing. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm African. Yeah, yeah. But, <laughs> yeah. Because those uh, those, those black Asian motherfuckers, they come in all sorts of ways. They can look like whatever. They can look Hawaiian. They can look however. That's true. See, Johnny, you're yeah, lucky. I'm, I'm, I'm six foot four hundred pounds. I'm a big motherfucker. So like, it, most of these people think I'm Samoan and shit, which is, is not you know not a it's not degrading or anything. I yeah, got yeah, because we got a lot of some. We got a lot of Samoans that listen to the show, and we will give out your exact address. <laughs> so, so keep, keep see, it. see, you're like <laughs> you're lucky, Johnny. No matter where you go, man, you can just be like, uh, you can just read the terrain and be like, oh no, I'm Asian, bro. Or no, nah, I'm Samoan. No, nah, I'm Hawaiian. I mean, the thing is, I mean, cats is they cool with Asians. They a little no. When it comes to Samoans, they a little scary. Motherfuckers going to act up. <laughs> well, they pretty cool with them. But you know, I mean, most of the Samoans I I know, I mean, they don't even like to use their pass. They like to act black. I'm like, dude, you got a pass. You're Asian. <laughs> All you gotta do is act like you're good at math. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm I'm fixing on. I'm putting. I'm gonna put something together. It'd be like a fucking game show every time I walk in the new bar, man. I'm gonna have like a fucking racial color wheel. Spin the wheel, Johnny. Spin the wheel. What are you today? <laughs> what I am tonight. Yeah, I mean that'd be cool, you know. I mean, because then you could probably win some drinks. Now, hey, Johnny, hey. Johnny, Johnny, if you act Samoan with the wheel, if you act Samoan with the wheel, dude, you can charge people a cover five dollars to spin the wheel because they're all bouncers. Like all of your people are bouncers, so you could just charge five dollars and make a killing. You know, if 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 you do choose Samoan, you don't have to pay up the bets. Because <laughs> I mean, a big Samoan motherfucker look at you. It's like, well, what you gonna do? <laughs> I don't know. I didn't think I'd come to this point. <laughs> and you know, I mean, everyone knows Samoans roll like fifty deep all the time, yeah. no matter if you see them or not. There's three or four of them motherfuckers around the corner. I mean, shit. I mean, on the on the possibility that I can get with this big motherfucker's program. <laughs> There's still gonna be more. It's like when you beat the boss level on a video game, and yeah, then they go surprise boss, and, and then there's two more guys that come out. <laughs> Take your energy with one punch, boom, yeah. boom. <laughs> so I, I, I'm, just gonna, I'm just gonna start wearing Hawaiian shirts and just just uh, just beat the confusion. They'll be like, oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, how many pairs of flip flops do you got? <laughs> Because <laughs> you know, if, I got enough. if you hardcore, then you got you got, you got multiples. You yeah. got you got dress up and dress down flip flops. Yeah, yeah, you got you got more oh, flip flops no, than rappers no, got I shoes. Got, I, got a pair, I actually got a pair of nice leather flip flops. Oh, oh, are they Birkenstocks? Don't lie. Birkenstocks do no, not man, count. I can't, I can't. I can't do the Birks, man. I just I look like a I look like a fat overweight substitute teacher if I got Birkenstocks. <laughs> Man, if you get the Birkenstocks, I will send you a fucking box of black socks to go with them. <laughs> I mean, if you're going to be fucked up, hey, there's even an outlet by my job. So you, you, you let me know. You need to get those fuckers resold. <laughs> no, I try, to stay, I try to stay away from Birkenstocks and Crocs as much as I can. Who the fuck fucks with Crocs? I, actually, I got, I got two partners that I feel are reputable people that swear by them. And I'm like, I just can't. You just can't disagree. I mean, if, if somebody okay. fuck, if they fuck with the Crocs, are oh, you looking at me like you fuck with the Crocs? No, you I was like, no, I'm looking at you because I, Johnny, I think that's on your fucking safety requirement form, right? Like, no can't Crocs, Crocs allowed. allowed. Yeah. <laughs> that's, yeah. that's how you lose a toe. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I know some. I know a lot of line cooks that wear Crocs, and I guess they're. I mean, they. I, I put my feet in them. They're. they're they are comfortable, but. You put your feet in somebody else's walk cross. Around looking like a fucking cartoon character. That shit looks weird. Yeah. You know when you got those checkered pants on and you won't wear the Crocs. That looks all right. I mean, you look fucked up enough. <laughs> might, as well just, might as well finish off that fucked up souffle with a pair of Crocs. Yeah, right. I, th- I think the only way you get away with Crocs and socks is if you're Steve Irwin and he's dead. Hmm. Wow. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, hey, that was a hey I don't know. That was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not, too soon. Yeah, yeah too soon. <laughs> it's still too soon. That's Steve Irwin, man. Yeah, I got, Crikey. Yeah, Crocky, mate. What else is good, Johnny? What do you got going on, man? Yeah, nothing, nothing, man. Just uh, like I said, nine months uh, down here, and it's been kind of um, 
acclimated to the area, doing my thing, and then uh, then uh, I got got a chance to go back home. Went back up to AK uh, back in July, and got to go do the party back at Guy's cabin, and hung out with some family and friends, and had had to make a stop at the Bush Company, and that's about it, babe. What's the Bush Company? Is that an ex girlfriend? <laughs> That's what I call the girl I dated in high school, the Bush Company. Because <laughs> she ain't what name Premier back. strip club in Anchorage, Alaska. Wow. Isn't it the only strip club in Anchorage? Do I know anybody that works there? <laughs> yeah, Champagne Jane used to work there. Oh, Champagne Jane. <laughs> <laughs> John, Johnny C knows. He, he knows. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Damn, I. <laughs> I missed all the good shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you did. I, 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 let, I let her be on my show, and I never got to see the JJ. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I love Champagne. Okay, she, she would come over when I, when I was still living there, and she was working there. She would come over, and she would, you know, come say hi and sit next to me, and I'd I always be in there with some friends. And it would always be like, you know, 10, 15 minutes chopping it up, just, you know, saying what's up. Chopping and you then, chopping you up? You know, like, huh? You let her chop you up for like 10, 15 minutes? I mean, we just, we just bullshit. We just talking and then like... Hey, I, 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 if, <laughs> if, if you know Jane, like I know Jane, it shouldn't have to take that long. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> fuck it with you, fuck it with you. Right, right on, Johnny. I'm sorry to interrupt. But no, no. But then like the house mom would be like standing up on the on the top, on the top stairwell and that light switch would come on and she'd be like, so you want to buy your friend a dance? And I'm just like, oh, no, no, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they really check on them like that up there, huh? Oh, uh, fuck yeah. Oh, there, yeah. There's a house mom and the light comes on? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? It's the red light. <laughs> what the fuck? I mean, for real. I mean, strip clubs out here, these bitches is lazy. They need <laughs> a house fuck. mom. Yeah. Boy, you'll be sitting there at the end of the bar by yourself with a, with a rack in ones and the bitch won't come up to you <laughs> and you, you sitting there just like I'm like you're not doing anything I don't know what you're snapping about <laughs> all your friends have seen you naked there's nothing new yeah mm. <laughs> maybe a, ma- maybe a pimple you can't explain but you know because you guys are in Portland you got like 900 fucking strip clubs yeah but we don't have a, nobody manages these hoes and I, <laughs> <laughs> you go to the strip club they just they're just independent operators like a lot of them just sit out sit around during their shift you don't even think they work there they're as lazy as construction workers Johnny the only Damn. reason the only reason you know some of these women work there is because they're scantily clad in the strip club that's the only reason Other than that, man, they're they, sitting around drinking with the rest of us they're sitting around the bar posted it's, Man, it, it, bro- it broke my heart. It was like it was just back in uh, October, wait, November, when I was um, when I was driving when I, I drove from Tacoma to Indianapolis, and I got my truck shipped from Anchorage, and then I like stopped in Portland. I saw my uncle Pete out in Troutdale. Shout out to and Uncle I was, Pete. I had to roll up to Mount Calvary go see um, put some flowers in my grandparents' place, and I wanted to go. I wanted to go roll through Milwaukee just because that's where my dad grew up. Man, I drove I drove through Milwaukee and like I looked like the the old Indian in that commercial when the tear came out of his eye. People dropping fucking uh, trash on the on the street. <laughs> and, and this fucking strip clubs or all these old places, these old Italian families I knew that you know because that was it was all Italians in Milwaukee when I was you know visiting there back in the eighties. Right. And now it's just fucking wall to wall titty bars, and I was just like, oh man, it doesn't look it's just the, gone downhill. The Larods live out there, don't they? Yeah, they used to have some shit. I think so. Yeah. They sell jewels. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I mean, yeah. If you want, if you want some strip club in Milwaukee, is definitely a good place to go. Actually, nah, it's so so. I, I tell you, man, there's better places to go. I, I love how Johnny's getting all nostalgic and telling you about history, and you're just like, yeah, you want to go to the proper strip clubs. <laughs> uh, I, I said, shout out to Uncle Pete. <laughs> what the fuck else do you want? <laughs> You think I'm, you think I'm good? Hey, handy to Uncle Pete. Pause. I don't know what the fuck is. Is that good enough? <laughs> hey, Johnny, we're about to get out of here, but hey, we we just wanted to call you and say what's up. You are our favorite guest. You're always our number one, yeah, Johnny. I appreciate that. Always. Yeah. If you, um, well, I, I've got um, definitely. Uh, you guys are getting out, but um, uh, call call me again because I've always got. Uh, wouldn't mind sharing with you guys some of the, the trials and tribulations of OSHA. I got some pretty funny stories that people 
people losing shit left and right. And I think I think at the at the bare minimum, uh, you you guys will get a laugh out of some of the dumb shit people do. You had me at finger. Yeah. <laughs> pause. 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 Please pause. And we'll, pause. We'll, uh, we'll definitely be keeping tabs with you throughout the football season, Johnny C. And it's great to hear from you, man, as always. So thanks for joining the Hype Podcast today, and we'll get at you later. Yeah, man. All right. Peace. Wait, you think we're leaving already? You just hit me. Yeah, I did, because I didn't want you to hit the stupid fucking button. You don't even know how to... You don't, Jesus even, you don't even know how to play radio. I you don't even know how to I play know. radio. Good hey, God. God damn. Yeah. God damn. Usually every time he hits me, <laughs> you know, he tells me to hit the No, song. I'm hitting no, you to get your fucking attention. No, you broke the fucking third wall. It was an illusion. It was conflict. It was made up conflict. Are you here in this theater? God. Are you here in the theater? I with can't us? work yeah. under this kind of pressure. You know what? Well, what, you know is, what? what is my motivation? What is my motivation? Is my I'm mo- out of fucking beer. I'm sweating. I'm white. There's people messaging me, and I'm hanging car- out with Oh So Fresh. Do you need a caramel macchiato? You seem like you need that right now in your life. Uh, it's a soy latte. Soy Extra latte. Pump. Well, how about we, we, uh, uh, we get you going on that? Shut up, Mr. Pumpkin <laughs> Spice Latte. <laughs> <laughs> get you some leggings and some Uggs and tell you to shut the fuck up. <laughs> well, yeah, hey, we didn't get to it today, but we're going to fill you in on all the details on the Hype Podcast right. Rap Battle 2 coming True. up very soon. Yeah, the second. Right now. So stay tuned for that. We got our reigning champion, Oh So Fresh. That was and, counting bars. You see that? And yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we got our new and upcoming artist, aka Sound Guy, Swiss you know, Michaels. I, I will, I will take just shit on my name like that. I will take on Swiss Michaels and one other competitor. But no, I, no. Oh, you know what oh. I think we do? I will, I will, think, I will, I will battle the shit out of you. I will hurt your feelings. No, too. you know what we do? We're gonna do a hype podcast rap battle, and then I think we do a hype podcast live and bring in all the local talent around the area. Us three will judge, and then we'll go. We'll give away some free blazer gear to the winner, maybe a hundred bucks, something like that, so they can spout off their local talent. What do you guys think? That sounds good. Sounds good. Let's I mean, come up with a plan. So this is the hype podcast. Podcast after the podcast. Yeah, whatever. He made that shit up as we were talking. We'll see if it fucking happens. But I want to thank you for hanging out with us. I think today we are a little bit more serious. Thank you to Johnny C for also hanging out. Thanks to Swiss Michaels for sharing how shitty love, young love can be. I'm sorry. I thought it was just me. No, no, no. Like, like it, life is. It's really you, you. Really, you really got a bad one. I hope, I hope we. I hope that bitch is gone next week. It's the hype podcast. Bye, Felicia.